Hello, my citizens. Uh, you know, I don't like doing a whole lot of selfies and things like that. But uh, I watched President Obama tonight and heard what he had to say uh, about confronting terrorism. And I didn't find his words encouraging at all. I know that our military will do the right thing and will do what is necessary in order to protect us. But as far as the homeland is concerned here within the United States of America, um, he has no effective plan, apparently. So what I'm asking all of my citizens to do, all my law-abiding citizens, I am asking you to help me and our fellow law enforcement officers by arming yourselves. I want you to get a carry permit. I want you to learn how to use your weapon properly, safely, so that they don't fall into the hands of children. We have terrible accidents with children, but I do want you to arm yourselves. And I am calling upon every able-bodied person that is of legal age to do so. Uh, as law enforcement, you know, we can't protect every single one of you. We can't be there all the time. We can't be everywhere all the time. And especially in a rural community where we have limited manpower and limited resources. So as such, I am encouraging you strongly to arm yourselves. We need to send a message to the criminal element as well as to these terrorists and these jihadi who want to just murder in the name of their God and the criminal element that wants to go out and just, you know, totally destroy our way of life. So I am asking you to help me to secure and protect innocent lives here within the continental United States. I know that uh, there are a lot of law-abiding gun owners out there, and nobody who is a legal gun owner has ever wanted to harm or kill anyone but I know that we do not seek to harm or kill anyone, but nor are we going to allow anyone to seek us out and kill us or do harm to our families. So I strongly encourage you to help me by arming yourselves because I know that we as law enforcement do the very best we can to protect our citizens, and we do a good job, but I know that if the tables are ever turned on me or one of my officers, that I want one of my citizens or a group of my citizens coming to our aid and rescue, and I don't want you running out of bullets, and I don't want you running out of guns before you're able to pull our bacon out of the fire. Now, Mr. Obama, you need to understand what the Second Amendment is for. It is not for hunting. It is there for the American people to protect themselves against the criminal element, to protect themselves against terrorist and radical ideology, and it's also there to protect us against a government that has overreached its uh, power. You are not our potentate, sir. You are our servant, and you were elected to serve and protect us first. And I suggest, sir, since you're a constitutional expert, that you better review your history on the Constitution and understand that we are a free people. And we are subject to no one other than the Almighty God and Jesus Christ the King. And as such, sir, I strongly encourage you to trust the law-abiding American citizen because you won't fail in that and we won't let you down. But if you try to disarm us, sir, then you're, you will cause a revolution in this country to occur. So please revise your thinking because we are not your enemy, the law-abiding gun owner in this country. Again, guys, listen to me. We live in a very dangerous time. Radical ideologies out there, radical thinking out there. So if you are a law-abiding citizen, I strongly encourage you to arm yourselves and be ready when the wolf comes to the door because it's on its way. Thank you.